Hello farmers and welcome to the Kenyan farmer. Today I have a project in mind and I plan to use this piece of PVC pipe. It's about one and a half feet. I also have a plug. This is used in a two inch waste water pipe. The idea is to use this plug at the end of the two inch PVC pipe. Of course, you have to heat the PVC pipe just to make the process much easier. You can decide to use a PVC glue, but I'm not using any at this stage. Now, I will also make a hole at the center using a drilling tool so that I can be able to fix a mini valve. You know what? I suggest you watch my drip irrigation installation video to learn how or why these items are used if they are straight to you. I did mention using materials available at the farm level. Didn't I? This pump is to operate just like the bicycle pump, but is to operate in a reverse manner. More like sucking instead of pumping air. I know you may be wondering, to what end? Why am I doing such projects as a farmer? Have you ever heard of controlled atmosphere or modified atmosphere in post-harvest storage? Or maybe you have heard of simply vacuum packing or even you may have been storing your cereals in those hermetic bags. A farmer friend of mine told me that they don't work, the bags. He has gone back to using chemical dust to preserve the cereals. I don't know if he had followed the instructions correctly, or even the bags he had used were of good quality. A vacuum environment translates to low oxygen levels. The idea is to suffocate the organisms or the pest that require oxygen to survive. And now let's make a piston. This is the stick I'll be using to make a piston. I plan to use this PPR pipe piece at the end of the stick to ensure the stick will not split when I drive in the nail. I also have some pieces of hard plastic here and I show you how I will use them. I carved them from an old piece of plastic lid. And here I have this rubber disc. Can you guess where I got it from? I am sure in your farm you can get some old slippers. This can be carved to fit in the PVC pipe. I plan to fix all these pieces at the center of the stick with a roofing nail to make a complete piston. By the way, do you know that cumulative post-harvest losses can go as high as 50% in Kenya? 
Have you ever wondered why small scale farmers quickly sell their produce at a draw away price to businessmen just to buy the same product at a higher price after some time? Why such a rush? Cutting down on post harvest losses can help in food security in Kenya, I believe. People learn from their day-to-day -day challenges. I mean, COVID-19 had many lessons to humankind, like your health is your personal responsibility. And despite our hopes in governments, medicine, military, education, money, we are still vulnerable creatures. And of course, God is not only found in church buildings, but omnipresent and omnipotent. You must appreciate God's grace in everything that happens in life. You may argue it's the vaccine that saved people, but is that so? Our vaccination rate was quite poor that's just like arguing that it's the alarm which wakes one up in the morning. There is more to that. As I may have mentioned earlier, controlled atmosphere does not only focus on vacuum packing. There are other many ways. Sometimes, even introduction of other gases like carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and the like also works. Although, I'll leave that for another day. Now, this pump will work just fine if you are using one or two liter bottles to preserve your cereals. But if you need to vacuum bigger containers or bags, you need to modify the pump to have both intake and exhaust valves. You know how a car engine operates? Yeah, that's the idea. Since the valves I'm using here are manual valves, you will have to know when to open and close the valves at the right time to create the necessary vacuum. It is possible to automate this by using two bicycle tube shredder valves in a reverse order for intake and exhaust, but that will be a video for another day. I am assuming you know that it's very important to ensure that the seeds are dry to the right moisture content before storage. If you find time to do some research, you will learn that there are many factors that affect the success of the method you choose. Germination percentage of the stored seed is also a concern to many farmers, but unfortunately, I don't have much info on that as at now. Although, our biggest challenge as at now is food, isn't it? I know I am referring to cereals, but similar approach can be used in preservation of vegetables and fruits. In Kenya, we are not used to vacuum packed food, but it doesn't hurt to learn how it works. I remember one day, a farmer friend of mine had an order to export avocado to the second largest country in Asia. And the conditions were that the product had to be vacuum packed and frozen. Imagine that. At times, you may need to combine more than one preservation method to achieve the purpose. However, never use chemicals, the chemical dust together with the hermetic bags. You need to choose one. Those two cannot be combined. In this case, I plan to use vacuum 
and drying, of course. Farmers need to be knowledgeable on these concepts. It pays to learn some skills. Besides, you can use them right at home. By the way, you have to ensure that the container or the bag is hair tight. No hair leaks. You should not handle the bag in a rough manner or use hooks that puncture the bags. I am also assuming that you don't have rats or rodents in your store, of course. So, how much vacuum will my DIY vacuum pump make? Well, I can't tell. As at now, I don't have the tools to measure. But whatever it makes works for my project. Easier said than done. Anyway, I hope you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. God bless you and see you in the next video.